see my front? Okay, so to start with, um, I'm an artist from Delhi actually, but uh, I've been working in the fashion scene for the past 10 years, 12 years, mainly backstage. Uh, I represent a company by the name of Blossom Kocha Group of Companies. We have three very large parts. We have one which is the Education Institute, which is called BCAD, uh, Blossom Kocha College of Creative Arts and Design. We have three institutes across the country. Each is 9,000 square hundred feet. Uh, the other part, and in that we teach cutting, color, uh, long hair, session styling, uh, makeup. All our certificates are from our internationally uh, recognized and certified courses. Uh, that's what I used to look after till one year back. And now I'm, I head the product division of the Blossom Kocha Group, which is Aroma Magic. But as Ritu is a, from the Salon Magazine is a great friend, as well as a confidant, and uh, she wanted me to get back on stage. So I think uh, to get my creative juices going. So I've come back on stage, and I'm going to actually throw you, show you three things that I, we do very fast. Now what happens is that when we're working in fashion shows, like I do Fashion Week in Delhi a lot, and uh, not only Fashion Week, we've just finished Harper Bazaar anniversary issue. We do, I work a lot with Vogue, a lot, a lot, with a lot of other magazines, and uh, the cover, the fashion shoots, and the fashion shows. There's one thing that happens, and the, is that we transit from one fashion show into another, and sometimes, if you see in Fashion Week, you'll have two designers and back-to-back you know, which means that there are 12 models, those same six girls will walk, the six girls will come back, and they start wearing another designer's outfit. So what happens is, the two designers want different hairstyles. And what we do is, we have exactly sometimes 15 to 20 minutes backstage. The teams in Fashion Week that we work with, literally, uh, the Blossom Koja Group company, our teams are 40, 25, 76 people sometimes and uh, one artist or two artists or three artists per person because we've got only seven minutes or six minutes that we need to get people ready. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you, we do a lot of hair piece work. I'm going to show you some in very small tidbits that really helped me through it. I hope it can also be informed. I, some, I bet some of you are already doing it. And some of the international looks that are actually moving. Now I'm a makeup artist as well as a hair artist and um, I cut, I color. I've been cut, cutting and coloring actually since I was 11 years old but I've been doing, I, my, my life, my passion lies in makeup and session styling. Now you know it's for a hairdresser the first thing that we do when we say fashion or styling is put the hair up from here and you know make knots and this and that and you know there is red color happening, purple color happening. You know, when we get into fashion show, like I just now did Manish Malhotra, the first thing he says, you know, it has to be, there is a kind of a fashion statement that comes in with clothes. So right now I'm going to start with the first fashion look that's in. Side partings are back in fashion. Very side partings are back in fashion, okay? So flat hair, in the front, on the top, the crown, and then complete extension from the sides. Now, how can you do it? You can either frizz it up with, like how I did hers, you can crimp it up, and you can push it in whichever form you want. You can curl it, like how I have done it. And I'm going to show you within exactly five to six minutes per hairstyle, how we are going to change, okay? And then I'm going to also do a little makeup. So it's going to be a you know, mix and match session. And, uh, I've not powdered her face, I've not done anything. What we've done is just, we've plastered the hair and I have just put pins around the hair. So how do I work at backstage? This is done by my assistant and the girl is ready to get on stage. So we have exactly seven minutes and we're gonna work through seven minutes. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take real hard spray, any company hard spray. You can take Vela, which, the problem with Vela and the good part with Vela is be careful because it's finishing spray, just jams, but it's the best finishing spray. You can take Schwarzkopf, you can take anything. But 
as a hairstylist, you just need two products. You need a start finishing spray and a working spray. Working spray means that it works. You can still work with the product. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to I'm going to spray. And when we work, okay, now make sure the model is not doing one thing and that is smoking because if she's smoking, you had it. Okay, I'm going to just back comb. Do not use combs, please. This is one rule in fashion shows that we have. We never use combs. We back comb with our fingers and this is how we back comb. Take the hair, push it in, turn it up, pull it up. Okay, so I'm just going to back comb and you know it's faster work and it's easier because she's going to come back in exactly four minutes and say next designer what am I going to do next designer I'll take all this take all this brush the hair loose send her so that's how we move faster so we go we're going to back home In salons, we use combs. In fashion show, styling, we use hands. We use detangler combs. Now, even when we are doing, if I'm doing a fashion shoot, it's something like this that works. You've seen a lot of your magazine covers. This is what works. So I'm going to now start taking my finishing spray. And I start putting it up. They're big and they're small, okay? Now the trick of this pin is that you will hook in and turn up okay so you do not use too many pins guys this is a little trick that we use is that when you put it in and you turn it up so it holds the hair up so I push it in so I have a lot of people who come to me and say you know I want to learn how to do fashion hair and actually fashion hair I don't I'm, I'm a little scared because fashion hair is is uh, is movement it's easy but it also has not too much product guys little product okay because if you put too much gel too much this tell me what's going to happen the next hairstyle can't get done We're going to go, we're going to, you're nearly there. And then you need a person who clearly understands you. Now this is Pavan. Uh, he's one of my oldest colleagues, not my assistant but my colleague and uh, he just knows which pin to put when. So sometimes you need people like him around to help you. Now I'm just going to take this, you know when I opened there was some hair that I did not curl, I kept it straighter. I need my butterflies. Can I have the pins? Look. 
more pins. So it's organized mess. This is mess, but organized mess. Okay, now I'm going to take these. And if you notice, I didn't ask, we just go. So you need, you need pavan around. Okay, now you get a lot of these in the market in Delhi. We, we have, we pick up a lot of these. Uh, these are just butterflies. You can get flowers, you can get anything you want. And uh, what you basically need to, these are great hair accessories. Um, so I'm going to take some of them and I wish they were opened up before. I need to open them up. Okay. So I'm just going to clean this up. Um, can I have the uh, palette, the Krylon palette? Now, we have our own makeup company called Mud International, but, and the brush is done, and water. Okay, now I'm going to do very fast work again. We are going to say, okay, the model's hair is nearly done. I'm going to do the eyes, which is very fast. Now, Ellie Saab is, come, is an international designer. He's come up, his clothes are very geometric. Now, if you look at Ellie Saab's designs this year, it's actually very round, geometric, a lot of cellophane. Cellophane is back in fashion. But his eyes were one of the biggest talk in makeup because it's nothing but paint. Okay, so we're gonna paint with geometric paint and it's gonna be very fast. So we're gonna go through this. Can I have the brushes? So you have your Krylon palette and we're going to take a little of this palette. Close your eyes, darling. Yeah? Aqua colors. These are full aqua colors. You know, you get these paint things in the thing. You can take any company. You have a French company by the name which we paint bodies with by called La France. L-A-F-R-A-N-C-L. And it's a great body painting product. You can take this also. Hmm. Let it dry. I'm going to take a color of a dress, nice orange, because these have to dry, close your eyes, do not open them. Are the butterflies through? Okay, so we are... Can I have some base made for her? So when we are working, technically, we work with, as I said, many, many uh, team, big team. I miss my team. Asha was very kind to offer her team. Let it dry. I'm going to now just finish up what I started here. Can I have a pin? And don't open your eyes, yeah? Can I have 
Miss Roosevelt. And the uh, red lip pencil. Okay, now we're just gonna finish up the makeup in two minutes and we are through. Miss Roosevelt. Now, this is a palette that's available for just 200 bucks in the market. I don't know if you've seen it. I bet you have seen it. It's one of the best things when we do fashion shows. Um, we, I use all the fancy makeup and then when it comes to that color, this is one of the guests ones. So I'm gonna just take a nice orange, which I like. I'll take a color like that and mix it like that. Can I have a flap? The eyeshadow actually smoothens, gives it a more natural look. Look at that. Open your eyes. You made her base. Close your eyes. Yeah? Yeah, completely. Orange, blue. It's a, yeah, contrast. You can take bright pink and electric green. Great combination. You can mix these things, but this is a color of the season. This blue is also a color of the season. Uh, the eyeshadow just gives it a nice look. Look up. Can I have this? Red pencil. Powder. And I think I'm nearly through with just the blue. Can I have a flap again? There we go. And you just do the lips and we are ready. Open. Powder, lips, lips, okay, I'm just going to make the red, and the interesting thing that we do is we just stain it, we don't do anything. I just need the lip pencil, the brush. Stain the lip with the pencil, pull it through. You know, a lot of us spend a lot of time in makeup doing, you know, when we do fashion shoots, you put all lipstick and all that stuff, powder. Now, guys, we don't do all that. The pencil is the best. It lasts the longer the model can drink water, she can do anything. And then, if there is a very glossy, we just put the gloss. The pencil actually adds everything. I just have to, I'm just gonna make it, I'm just gonna stain the lips. Nothing more than that. Stain the lips and we get the powder blusher and we are through okay now I'll just finish the hairstyle I think we are through nearly we just do this okay now I'm gonna make on move into my next model need to walk Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay, so if you look at it, it's very simple. It's something that we do for fashion shows. No lip gloss, nothing. Hair up, half down. One side thing, you have your accessory and your thing. Now I'm going to go into the next one. Okay, this is a little back combing brush. Please close all the makeup. <clears throat> Take away the makeup. Okay. Now we're going to get into the next hairstyle. The next hairstyle is faster. It's basically crimped hair. So what I'm going to do is, what we, when we start the fashion show, we will just crimp hair up and keep it. You can push it into a French knot. You can do anything you want. You can keep changing it with hair accessories, hair pins, anything. Now what I'm going to do is, I've just crimped it up. It gives you a little more volume. I'm going to add This is stuffing that we make, but this stuffing is stuffing that we make with stockings. You know the stockings that you wear? We make stuffing with this. It's softer, you do not have to stitch it up, pile it up, anything. We can we make these big, big, huge pieces. I have more pieces out here. And you... So I'm just pulled. Basically, we've crimped the hair, I pulled it to the side. I just need my pins. I need Judah pins. Make it stand as much as you want, like you can. One in and one up, you will hook it. And I think this part is the most important. You need to pin it from the side, you need to pin it inside. A lot of us, when we pinning in with our hair pieces or our extensions that are going to actually hold the hairstyle, please do not use bob pins. It is Jura pins that actually hold the stuffing. And then lift the stuffing and hook in with your Jura pins. So it does not move. Otherwise, the model keep walking and the hair will keep shaking and on top of this a lot of designers they they love drama so they have big huge caps happening cap on the side happening so you have to have hair or any kind of a thing that will actually now we train people in Delhi of course a lot of our teams are working solidly in fashion week. I bet they also do here with the other schools. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just put your head down a little. One piece here. I'm going to take another piece here, smaller. Okay. And I'm not going to say it's, this is couture because couture is very elegant. You know, a lot of us think couture hairstyle is elegant hairstyle. Guys, couture hairstyle is something that it's like what we did out here. It's whimsical, it's funny, it's, and some of it is very high fashion. Like that you think is couture. Actually, that's couture. This is couture and so is this couture. What is pret? Pret hair in fashion is very every day so there'll only be lip gloss hair is you know straight if you go into indian all the judas chotis and all that come through so this also is known as avant-garde not hair fantasy but avant-garde because you need to have some fashion idea that is coming through Hmm? This is avant-garde, but this is also going to be avant-garde. Now this will be very big. This will be further big. This is big. This will be further big. You talk, you talk. 
Now what happens is that you can make one piece, but the problem with one piece is that it tends to move. So what the trick in making hairstyles last and stay is one thing, break your pieces, break your stuffing, one stuffing, two stuffing, three stuffing, and then build up. After that start, then you have to secure that stuffing, and then comes the whole hairstyle. So now I'm going to start securing the stuffing. I'm going to take a little hair, not the full, but just a little. And this is called securing. You just take it, pin it. So actually you've created your security. That's just how we can create and we can just do what we want to do with hair. I can make it go up 90 degrees, but the security has to come through. Please understand one problem with models, they'll come and tell you, do not backcomb my hair. Now, if I have to make the hair stand up at 100 degrees, how the hell am I going to make it stand up? So the trick is that use your stuffing and when you use your stuffing, you ensure. So what I'm doing is basically, I'm just taking hair and I'm pinning it. Okay, now comes the fun part, what all hairdressers like, and that's vacuuming, but very gently done, so that the model doesn't kill me. Now, already our hair is, already our hair is crimped, doesn't have to do much, okay? What I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to take this hair, and I need to just add volume to it, nothing much. Now, normally we back home like that, like here, 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 I don't, we don't do that, but we want to build up, we just. Crimped hair is the easiest hair to do whatever you want to do with. I'm just going to take this hair and I'm going to take the whole thing This is working spray so that it does not because if I'm going to use my brush again on this When I train in Delhi, I train now, I don't train much, but I do train as much as I can. One thing I'd like to say to you is hair, makeup, beauty to a large extent is no rocket science. It's fun. It is something that, but the idea is to control the hair. Controlling hair does not mean overloading it with product or overloading it with backcombing. Because once you do that, the hair is jammed. If suppose by, God for sake, the hair, hairstyle falls flat. Opening up the hairstyle, you'll have streaks. The hair will not come through. So keep it as flexible as possible.
Now it's because of this lady I've come out of hibernation. I don't normally perform very much on stage. Okay. Back brush. Hairspray. Working spray. Uh, finishing. Puck, stay. Remember, too much product, very light, eight degrees. And I'll be very honest, you know, we, when we, a lot of artists, when we say salon hairstyling is very different, by chance never ever do this to your clients. They will never come back. I'm telling you, I assure you. My mom, so my mom, when we had, when I was training in salons, okay, uh, I have to tell you this, back room, uh, back brush. Um, my mom decided to put me in uh, the salon. So I'm used to all this. So what I do is that I start doing very fancy hairstyles. And the problem is that I get no client. No client wants to work with me because they are mortally petrified of what I may end up doing. So just be careful. You have to allow the hairstyle, the hairspray to dry now I'm going to use a hair another just extension which I'll just show you matches her dress I get a lot of these extensions Yeah? Match. Okay, now, I can leave it like this. Can I have the cellophane paper? I'm gonna show you different ways we can accessorize this. I can do it with hair also. What I can do is, I don't need to extend it. I can just use pieces of it, okay? This is a very hairdresser thing to do. We like colored hair. Fashion? They don't like this. They will never ever use something like this. What they will use is cellophane paper. And I love cellophane. Smaller thing. Can I have the scissor? My mom normally is the one who performs on stage. I, I like my backstage much easier. Yeah. Hi, I'm Samantha Poocher. Surely. Okay, so you want me to do something for her? <laughs> Excellent. So you're going to give me two minutes, yeah? Thank you. So what do you like? Tell me. What is it that you like? You like your hair up, you like your hair down, what do you do? Like? Okay. Uh, you, you, I've seen you on the ramp. Okay, so we're going to do something. 
Excellent. So you've seen me on the magazine, I've seen you on the ramp. We make a good pair. Ushoshi, uh, we would like to know from you, you know, uh, it's uh, at, at such a young um, phase in your life, you're, you know, leading the way, inspiring uh, the girls in India. Uh, how does it feel? Standing, standing next to you and somebody like Samantha, it's really a compliment when you say that I'm inspiring somebody, but thank you so much for those words. Winning, a Miss, winning Miss India and you know being an inspiration to a lot of people. Ah. So, yeah. First of all, I want to introduce myself. I'm Ushoshi Sen Gupta, Miss Universe India 2010. And I'm really happy to be here in front of all you, all you beautiful people. Thank you so much, uh, Ryan, for giving me this opportunity to come here and uh, address such intelligent people all about beauty and hair and looking good. I think every girl wants to do that, wake up and look pretty. I'm sure okay. Samantha will agree. You look beautiful. Thank you so, so much. So we're going to start. You. We're yes. going to start with you now. Okay, thank you so much. This is your next one. And now we're going to go with her. <laughs> okay, now this is a surprise for me. But she's got beautiful hair. And Okay, now tell me something. Do you like it to the side? What do you? How do you wear it? Do you like it in the center? Do you like center parting, side partings? You know, I always um, loved my hair because I think you, even if you don't do anything to it, it just looks pretty. Okay. So every time my friends will ask me, do you really have a bad hair day? And I say, even in my bad hair days, my hair is just fine. Excellent. So I'm going to make it worse now. Yes. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> now the thing in fashion shows is we really take the cake when we start doing, we really, really, you know, mess the girl's hair up. But she's got beautiful hair. Normally, we don't have such great hair. But I'm going to now use a piece that again I made. I was actually keeping it for her, but we're going to do something again. This is a surprise. Now, this is the mother of all hair pieces. Okay, nothing. Now, it's basically, if you look at it, it's, it's a plait that we just go around and we do this. And it's just got stuffing inside. Now it's very heavy, but actually, you please understand something. If you secure it well, you can just create the hair going up 90 degrees. I'm gonna not create it 90 degrees, but I'm gonna do something. Now what I'm gonna do is that, I'm gonna take this to the side a little, yeah? Okay. Center. I'm just looking at how much hair there is here. Okay, let's... It's easier to pin an open hair. Do not try to create any stuffing or anything like that because it will tend to slip. Okay? Okay, now I need... Now she's very tall. You need to give me... Uh, Judah pins also. So now tell me something. How do you look after your hair? You use any special treatments because it's beautiful. I personally believe in you know shampooing and conditioning it every day properly. Mm -hmm. But since I'm in a profession where I really torture my hair every day, mm -hmm. I uh, go the go by the Mama's rule of oiling it once in a while. Mm -hmm. And there's not much you can do about curly hair because all my life I've been such a lazy person. I really want to hardly ever had the time to you know go go to a parlor get my treatments done. Mm. But once in a while, yes, involve indulging in the protein treatment treatment and everything. Okay, great. Now see how I'm going to secure this big piece onto a head. You're just going to wrap hair and it is actually what's holding her hair is her hair that holds the piece up. What we do is we try to hold the piece up with pins. It tends to slip guys. So what I'm going to do is that we're just going to hold this piece up with her own hair. Now I I use a lot of wire when I use make my pieces and all that stuff and it's so this is an easier piece a lighter piece that I can function with
Is it feeling firm enough? Are you sure? Okay, great. Actually, Ritu's never seen me work before. That's true. <laughs> Now, it's, you please understand, like what we did out here, the first other model, um, you cannot make hair, couture hair, or hair, fashion hair, ugly. There has to be some elegance to it, she can carry it, you know, it can be going up 50 degrees, but it has to mean elegance. Okay, I need thinner, okay, is it hurting? Is it heavy? It is heavy for sure, but... <laughs> it's firm, yeah? Yeah. Great. Pins. Now, the front has to be softer. And she's a brave girl, yeah? Sitting with me. Now, normally, these all the fashion show girls, what they do is, that will, they will, they've already worked with you, so they will have enough faith in you. Um, she's, she's technically, Great. Okay. Now, you know what I'm trying to create for her? Who passed away recently? Amy Winehouse. Yes? Amy Winehouse. She used to keep these big bouffants. Now, that's, I'm not going to back home my hair. I'm not going to do anything of that. But I'm going to create Amy Winehouse for you. My version of Amy Winehouse. So, uh, impromptu, but. Good enough. That's like a rock star chick color. Yeah, basically you're <laughs> a rock star. And I'm blessed that she has a lot of hair. Yes, friend? I want to ask you something, Samantha. All these yeah. hairspray, hair products, everything, they really damage your hair, right? Yeah, but technically when we hairstylists, we have to remember, this is a very valid point she said. It's about using good product. When you use good product, it does not spoil the hair. And it is about how much. As I said, you load the hair with hairspray, the hair is gone for a six. You need e good product, slight product. Branded ones. Branded ones, good product. Okay, now we're just going to do the last bit. I, I really want to uh, take two minutes and you know talk about this brand I associate with. Mm -hmm. It's iconic. Um, mm -hmm. They have a lot of hair products, um, hair machines. So I completely swear by their products. And um, I think for a, for somebody who's got curly hair, maintaining the different styles we can give uh, to our hair with their products, mm -hmm. something really nice. Have you have you really tried Which one? iconic? I've not heard, I've heard about yeah, them. Yeah, they're recently tried. launching in India. Excellent. And uh, they are uh, Indian based and they are coming up in a big way and I think some of their products are worth a try for. I think you being uh, a hairstylist. Yes, I think we should definitely indulge in some of them. Okay, done. Okay, she's ready. We've got the next third hairstyle out. Thank you so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a moment and go right there and yeah, take some sure. pictures with your beautiful creation. Thank okay. you so much. You're fantastic. You're welcome. Thank you, Shoshi. Okay. Okay. 
I'm going to do this in exactly five minutes because we are already running very late. Okay, these are just three ponytails, guys. Just three ponytails. We're doing nothing more but just three ponytails. And I'm going to just take a little hair, put it around the. Just hold it, Pavan. Guys, it was a pleasure being in Bombay. I normally uh, perform, as I said, backstage. And I perform on the on our shows, Blossom Coach group of shows. So it's nice to be. But I love Bombay. We have an institute here, which we've opened up recently. I'd so love to see you there. Can I have hairspray? Yeah. Sure, a great uh, Yeah, yeah, one here, one here, one here. That's it. It's like a semicircle going this way, okay? Because my hair piece that I've, um, you know, these uh, things that I've, you've seen, these little shiny stuff, is uh, what I made. What we do is we make a lot of, like, 90% of the accessories, if it's any kind of stuff, we make it ourselves. Because, so I've been using for, I think for fashion shows, we make this, we make this for the designers. We make the, um, we make this, we take uh, wood shavings, everything. Okay, now guys, I'm just going to take hairspray. Can I take hairspray? An invisible pin. Before I do anything, I'm going to clean up the base. Before, you see, when you're going to put your rolls, remember the inside of that head has to be very clean. Back brush. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to back comb this. My model is very tall and I'm very short. Can you imagine me without my heels? Are we finished? Okay. I'm just back brushing it. So if you look at it, it's just technically nothing much, guys. Three sections. Three sections, okay? So what I've done basically is one ponytail here, one ponytail here, one ponytail here. That's it. And I've just put this, it's like a headband, and I put this. I'm going to show you how this piece is done. And I'm just going to back comb this. Papa nearly had a heart attack because I've not back combed it. Then, while this is drying, on her it was actually the piece that I used there but it's this is how fashion show happens suddenly you say oh no hair piece so I'm going to cha change my brush please uh, you change your hairstyle but I've got a hair piece which I can easily do for this side So when she came to me in the morning, you know, like she knew that there was, it's going to be a hair thing. So what she did was, she, very nicely, my model washed her hair. And she was very apologetic, you know, by the way, I had a hair show or something like that. Yeah, hair show? Or big shoot or whatever. Can I have a uh, finishing spray? You're just going to create a round brush and I'm going to now I'm just going to roll okay now you can roll out here or no smaller one yeah or we can use you know it makes my life easier just a little stuffing Oh, 
open. Next one. Just take it, it's, it's the easiest. You make these little sausage rolls, pin it, and we are through. Uh, can I have one more pin? Okay, can I have hairspray? Okay, this is just a bun, okay? It's going to be very, very fast. And then the last. Now guys, I would only request you one thing, is that when we do fashion, when you do hairstyles, um, when you're working in your salon, I, I worked when I was young, I remember when I started from, um, when I started in my salon, working with my mom, as I said, I was 14 when I started, but uh, 11 actually. But one thing that really pushed me on, my mom has been my, my complete, my guide, my, she taught me everything that I know. And the only thing I know about hair is that hair can control you if you do not know how to control hair. So, watch out. Uh, product is there. Don't overload product ever. That's your next piece. This is how we do very fast rolls, huh, by the way. Um, can I have Jura pin, please? Last one, and we are through. Thank God I do not do this with the model's hair because she will kill me. And you need really fine. Um, okay, I need a finer one. Yeah, thank you. Got it. Okay, now we come down to the accessories. This is what we make. It's black net, it's nothing.
invisible and I'll just clean up now and we're through for the next artist. Thank you. Okay, so we've done three hairstyles, four actually. And uh, any questions? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Bombay. Thank you so much, Samantha. Hope you have a pleasant flight back. <laughs>